In this example, we're going to look at this polynomial here. We're going to determine its classification, so you know what's its degree and how many terms do we have. And then if it's not already written in standard form, let's go ahead and write it in standard form. Okay, so there are one, two, three terms it looks like. We have a p cubed, a negative 3p to the 7th, and a positive 6p to the 5th. So there are three terms, so we know this is a trinomial. So now we need to determine what is its degree. So remember the degree is the highest degree term, and the degree of any one of these terms is just uh, the variable exponent. So we have 3, and we have 7, and we have 5. So obviously which one's the biggest of those three numbers? Well, I would say 7. Okay, so what's the classification for something of degree 7? Well, it's going to be septic. So we have a septic trinomial right here. And let's go ahead and write it in standard form. So we're going to start with the highest degree term, which is negative 3p to the 7th. Then we're going to write the next highest degree term, so between 3 and 5, it's going to be positive 6p to the 5th. And then we'll wrap it up with putting p cubed here. But of course, he's not negative, so he's positive, so we'll put a plus right there. So our polynomial here was a septic trinomial, and this is what it looks like when we write it in standard form.